smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is another video for you guys. We're still working on the headlight. It's one of those two day video type of things. So today I'm gonna be working on my car as well. So what I got for my car is something super sick. You guys probably already know from the title. I finally got a new steering wheel. Um, you guys know from the last steering wheel that it was messed up. It was in really rough condition. I finally got another one in. Don't worry, this is not my, you know, big mod that I was, you know, saving up for. But, you know, when I saw the deal, I had to pick it up. I can't pass up on a good deal. You guys know me. So, installing the paddle shifty steering wheel into this car. I'm gonna show you guys how to remove it. And I'm gonna try to do it as easy as possible at the same time, show you guys how fast, I mean, it, it doesn't take much time, it's 20 minutes. Um, the hardest part is getting out the airbag, and then after that, you just, it's all plug and play. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that straight up. And by the way, guys, if you guys haven't seen the last video, you do need the the retrofit um, kit from, I think, Burger Tuning. So I'll have their link down in the description, and I'll have the video of the last video on how to install that kit. This video is just installing the steering wheel, so it should be self-explanatory. If you guys don't know how to do it, I'll show you guys how to do it. Inside the truck, make sure you guys disconnect the negative terminal. It's just to make sure that the airbag doesn't blow or anything weird happens, right? You won't get any like air lights or anything like that. So just disconnect the negative terminal, and then um, we're just gonna go straight in the car and start taking out the airbag. All right, guys, so as you can see, I just pretty much put a rag over the negative terminal where it was. Uh, it's just one 10 millimeter screw, and then pull that thing right on up. You can use a flathead if it gets hard, but for me, I've taken that so many times where it's loose. So I just pulled it on out, put it off to the side, and I put a rag right there to make sure it doesn't reconnect while I'm doing it. You guys can also know that it's completely disconnected by the light not turning on right there. All right, guys, at this moment, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be doing with this steering wheel. So uh, basically, you guys can see there's like two tears on the bottom of each steering wheel. Well, usually it's already torn. That's how every steering wheel normally is. Um, when you put a, a regular, any screwdriver to be honest, when you put it in there, you're gonna see that there is a, I'll show you guys probably better in depth when I get this steering wheel out. But once you put it in there, you move this little lever. And once you move that lever, that that's what allows the airbag to come out. It'll pop out on this side, you gotta do the same on the other side, pop on that side, take out the airbag, and then all you gotta do is unplug the things and then the screw, and that's pretty much it. So let me just show you guys how fast I can pretty much take it out, you know, how easy it is, and then I'll show you guys, um, again, how to get the airbag out, because that's like the hardest thing. All right, guys, so got that out um you need a flathead to get both of these out and then uh this should just come run i'm gonna get a flathead for all this just a bit, a bit better safe than sorry um shout out to the guy who bought the steering wheel i have his instagram right here he already bought the steering wheel off of me as soon as i told him i was selling this he straight up bought it so i'm gonna clean it up make it look as nice as possible and then get this out to him you know as soon as possible i really do appreciate you buying this right now i really wasn't expecting to buy this and it set me back on my bigger goal and when he got this it helped me out a little bit more appreciate it and uh yeah let's get this out and make it as nice as possible for him tab right here again i'm gonna show you guys how to uh pretty much unloosen up the tabs on the other steering wheel um, so once I loosen up those are the airbags again make sure the car is completely disconnected airbag should come right on out and then now I just have these ones so I showed you guys how to remove the steering wheel in the other video but uh, just to clarify these ones these little black and green clips uh, you just got to pop these parts up if you guys see right now push it in you just just pop it out with the flathead that's all you have to do for that and over here you put a flathead in there and then that should come right on out and this one you just pull it the black one you just pull uh, once you do that you got one last bolt there make sure the wheel is straight <laughs> straight enough I'm gonna angle it the same way I put it in there and and uh, you should be good. All right, guys, uh, you do need a 16 millimeter for this part right here. So I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod and then I'm gonna uh, loosen up this bolt real quick. All right, guys, so I just got this wheel out. I'm gonna install the other one. Um, you're gonna notice that there's a flat bottom where there's a purple, I mean, a green line. You're just gonna match it up. I mean, it's kind of, just eye it where it came out. Yeah, it, it's kind of a flat. I'll show you guys when uh, on the other two once I uh, finish this one up. Now I'm just putting everything back in, the, the gray wire, the black wire, these are the airbags ones. Um, you just need a flathead to pop these back out. Actually, I think I can do it with my hand. Yeah, can I get that flathead, please? And once you get both of those popped up, you just wanna match it up. There's a green, there's a black, it's not really, you can't really mess that up.
All right, guys, make sure the steering wheel is tight. I'm not gonna push the airbag back in yet, so I'm to make sure everything works when I start up the car. So I'm just gonna connect the battery real quick and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I, I have the kit installed by Burger Tuning. I have the steering wheel with the paddle shifters, and these are the DCI ones. They said I didn't need the button number, but I don't know what they meant by modification. So I guess there's one more modification. I have a part three to this video, but I have the steering wheel that I want installed. Um, but unfortunately, these paddles are still not working. Um, so this is gonna be a part three of this video, guys. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you guys how the paddles work. I got the DCT steering wheel, so we got the negative and the positive. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get the stoplight real quick before I shift it into gear. All right, I'm gonna go to first gear right now. Okay. Right, let's go real quick. Go to second gear. All right, that feels pretty smooth. Third gear. It's almost instant. Actually, I think it is instant. It's really good. I'm gonna go down to second gear real quick. First gear. Yeah, it works really good. I mean, honestly, I'm very impressed in how this works. I never had pals before, so this is actually pretty exciting. Second gear. Oh, I'm about to put my hand around the thing. Third gear. Oh man, Muhammad, what do you think of this, bro? All right, guys. So honestly, my uh, in my initial uh, review, I mean, it's pretty good. Um, I mean, the paddle shift has shifted really nice. Uh, um, Muhammad, why is your hand on the gear? Bro, I'm trying to help you shift. What do you mean help me shift? These are, it doesn't work. Doesn't work? Nope. So you're just shifting this entire time? Yup. <laughs> Why? Sorry, bro. <laughs> what do you mean sorry? What, you tell me it doesn't work? Nope. I'm trying to make you feel better. You just, it's okay, bro. You, you can pay me like monthly and I can like, I can just sit here and just shift. You'll do that for me? Yeah, I'll do that for you, bro. But you gotta, you gotta, how much are you gonna pay me though? I can give you $25 a month. $25 a month? Mm -hmm. 30 bucks and we call it a deal. 27.5 we got a deal. 28. 28 we got a deal. Alright, 28. Alright, All right, bro. Set third gear, third gear. Oh yes guys, you feel that, you feel that. Fourth gear, fourth gear. Oh man, this is a really good service. I like it. So here's the wheel all cleaned up and everything it looks really 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 clean um, getting it over here in the sunlight uh, so I just want to show you guys real quick what needs to be uh, done so again you just use a flathead for that and a flathead to pop up both of those and that one you just pull it right on out with a little, it takes a little bit of force but you just pull that right on out and uh, you, you put your screwdriver from the bottom and you're supposed to pull that metal thing inwards and we put that in there that also goes inwards and now it'll pop open the airbag on that side and then you have to do the same thing to the other side. Once you do that, airbox should just pop right on out and then you just got a 16 millimeter bolt right there. You untighten that and that's how you get to the, uh, that's how you loosen the steering wheel. Uh, so I just wanna show you guys something real quick how you know the center, the steering wheel is centered. If you look toward the bottom right there, you can see that it's missing, like it's a flat bottom. It's missing like grooves. That's when you know that's the center and that should match up with the car. And uh, that's when you know, and it, I think it only fits in one way to be honest, but uh, that should help you align it. All right guys, that wraps up the video. Unfortunately, the paddles did not work uh, even though I had the kit installed. Apparently I need the buttons. They're saying I don't need the buttons for that particular steering wheel that I have but I don't know why it still didn't work. So if you guys know what the mean modification, let me know. And uh, I'm getting ready to ship out that M wheel uh, that was in my car. And yeah guys, thank you for 100 likes in the last video. I think it even going like to 130, 140, um, really fast, like within like a couple hours. It's kind of crazy. You guys, did, you guys smash that like button. Really appreciate it. Next video is gonna be pretty sick also, so make sure you smash this like button. Remember to stay humble. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, baby. I need you to see me. With the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Y'all love, baby. I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.